The smokestacks at Duke Energy's plant will soon be no more. Today, the company announced it will switch the plant over to natural gas and solar energy. It's a move Duke expects to significantly impact the environment for the better. We have live team coverage of how the transition will happen and how those living near the plant feel about the change. We begin with News 13's Hope Hanselman, who joins us from the plant. Hope we should see changes across the board, right? Yeah, that's right. Local environmentalists agree that retiring coal ash will lead to cleaner water in the French Broad and cleaner air. But starting this new natural gas plant will also stop pumping warm water into Lake Julian, making that healthier as well. Duke Energy representatives say customers will begin using natural gas by 2019. It means building a much smaller, state-of-the-art facility. The coal ash plant will be decommissioned and all of that ash removed and reused by 2020. In place of it, Duke executives are planning a solar farm, but they haven't been clear on how big that will be, saying it depends on the space available after the old facility is leveled. And a note to all Duke customers, Duke representatives are predicting the transition to natural gas will lead to more expensive bills at first. So with low natural gas prices and with the efficiency of this plant, we do not expect significant rate impacts. It'll be a little higher initially, but over time, with gas prices staying low, rate, rate impact will be minimal. Duke Energy says the new plant will be twice as efficient as coal ashes. That now the new model will be able to ramp up and slow down with demand, whereas the coal plant has to continue running. That is important because energy demand in the Asheville area is expected to rise 15% in just the next decade. Over the next four to five years, Duke will be providing some 800 local construction jobs as they build this new plant and a 40 mile transition line line, transmission line, and substation in the upstate. However, they say about 40 full-time jobs here at the plant will have to be eliminated. Reporting live in Skyland, Hope Hanselman at News 13.